Okay, next stitch is back stitch. It's a little more difficult than the first two you just learned. It's actually a lot more difficult, uh, but it's a really good sturdy stitch. It is meant to resemble a machine stitch. So when you see it finished, it should look somewhat like one consecutive line going all the way across. Like the, the stitches should look like they're coming out of one another. Um, it's definitely the stitch that you would use if you were going to repair a pair of jeans, let's say by hand, that might have split at the seam. Um, really good sturdy stitch. Okay, the stitches are going to end up being uh, a quarter of an inch spaced, but because we're going back, hence the name back stitch, we're actually taking a quarter of an inch backwards and moving ahead underneath. I mean, I'm sorry, we're going an eighth of an inch backwards and going ahead a quarter of an inch. So I've actually marked one eighth of an inch. I actually drew a line for this one because this one's tough to get really straight. So I drew a line first and then I marked the eighth of an inch marks on the line. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at the second dot, which would be a quarter of an inch. We're going to come through. And so we're always starting with a quarter of an inch forward stitch. And we move back an eighth of an inch. See that dot right there? We go through that eighth of an inch dot and then we come out a quarter of an inch forward from this stitch, which would actually be the next available dot. So now we've just created one eighth of an inch stitch. And the reason it's called a back stitch is because the next stitch, we're gonna move backwards and we're gonna go right into, let's see how close I can get here for you. We're gonna go right into where that last stitch was made I like to try and get right into that hole and then we're going to move so that's an eighth of an inch back and then the next dot that's available will be a quarter of an inch forward. Okay, so you can see how they touch. Again, an eighth of an inch back right to the last stitch a quarter of an inch forward to the next available dot and you use that line that you drew really subtle line to keep everything straight again back an eighth of an inch forward a quarter of an inch to the next available dot and if you find that you don't feel it straight enough like I'm, if I come out in the wrong place I'm not just gonna pull my stitch through I'm gonna Go back with my needle and try and adjust it. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. Come back an eighth of an inch and head a quarter of an inch. Always check as you go along, make sure that you're pulling your thread taut. You want to keep the stitches, you don't want to yank them so that they pucker, but you want to keep them nice and tight. One more time, back an eighth of an inch, and ahead a quarter of an inch. So you can see how it looks like, for better or for worse, almost a solid line. 